Hi there. Hello. <laughs> I am with Jen Holland. Jen Holland is to me a hero because we had never met before and you got a Zero Pain Now program and you sent in an email that was so mind boggling to me about the successes you had that I needed to, to reach out and meet you and get to know you. And, and we've had, you know, thousands, I've helped thousands of people get pain free, but your story was so transformational and so wonderful to me. I wanted to get to know you and really hear your story and, and have you tell a little bit about you uh, because you're amazing. Thank so you. welcome and thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. So you got quite a history of, of pain and limitations, don't you? Yes. So can you tell me the first, when, when did it all start? When did the pain start? When did it all start? The first real diagnosis of anything was in um, about 1979. And I had uh, two tiny children, uh, three and about one, and I had been working out in the garden, and uh, my ex, he's now an ex, but my husband was doing his um, a residency and was 36 hours on, 12 hours off, and um, I went in to take a bath. Luckily, I just fed the children, but I got into the bathtub and just overwhelming pain. It's like being cut in half. That's what it feels like. And um, I couldn't get out of the tub. And my little kids just came, <laughs> kind of stood by the bathtub there. Uh, several hours later, my, my husband did get home and had to carry me, you know, frozen water. And every, I mean, it was just ridiculous. Um, and as I said, he was a resident, so we had free care and went in. And that's when the first herniated disc was uh, determined. And it was uh, bed rest for like two weeks. We had to have somebody come in and help with the children and tons of codeine, tons of codeine. Yeah. So you were diagno diagnosed with a herniated disc? Yes. Okay. So you've got this herniated disc. Right. And what comes along next? Uh, it just, you know, it would come, come and go, come and go. And this is something that kept happening, but I didn't get a diagnosis until two years ago. Um, and it's called femoroacetabular impingement. And it's... Um, it just it's like a broadsword in the front of your uh, you know like the groin area or the front of your hip uh, oh actually all during the marriage really <laughs> different things happened um, muscle spasms in the back Morton's neuroma in my foot um, you know all treated like either with cortisone or whatever I still get well no not since CPN in 1985, I was rear-ended. I had a, there was a rear-end collision. Um, I had two rear-end collisions, but the first one was very serious. Um, I was numb from the neck down for 24 hours. I, um, they said it was soft tissue injury. I happened to be working in an emergency room, so I had medical care where I was working or what was going on the back would go out and I could tell it was stress related but you know but the pain was so real and it's like your body's cut in half so and so you, then what as you move through the years then what yes um, I went to a chiropractor for the first time in about 1986 and the x-ray said he said you have the spine of a 60 year old he said it's just full of herniated discs and whatnot, you know. How, how many herniated discs did you have then? Uh, at that time, I only had two. Oh, it was uh, December 12, 2004, 
when I had just I had moved uh, from Ireland back to the States after having a heart attack, I woke up and I couldn't get out of bed. And my sister lived next door in the building next door and she's the one that helped me get to the uh, emergency room and that's when it was four herniated discs. And I went to the chiropractor. The chiropractor did help for a, a while, you know. And then I had the uh, myelogram, the nerve conduction study, uh, and they wanted to do surgery in 2005. And I said, no. But in 2001, I was diagnosed with arthritis, both in my knees and in the lower back. Um, and, you know, I was put on Naproxen and Vioxx and Celebrex and all these. I was in Ireland at the time. And I was allergic, thank God, I was allergic to them because as we all know, those turned out to be really bad medication. So, um, right. So, so again, to sum up, because you got four herniated discs, you got osteoarthritis, you've got that thing that I still can't pronounce. You've been having pain now, you're in the 2000s, so you've been having pain for 20, almost 25 years at this point, which was 2004. So come forward from there. What's okay. next? And they did help, you know, to some degree. And I just kept moving through the pain because I had to. I had to. I was the only one looking after myself and um, just kept on going. And um, I'd get home at night and just crumple, you know, not able to do anything. Um, but it's amazing what you can do when you have to, if you've got no one looking after you. So um, anyway, uh, six years ago, I became unable to do stairs. I was working on a PhD in, uh, at Northern Illinois University. And oh my God, I couldn't, I couldn't get up the stairs. And I had an apartment that was at the top of these stairs. And I didn't have a car. I walked, I walked, I walked everywhere and, you know, brought all my books with which, of course, the chiropractor and the doctors had said, no, you shouldn't be carrying that much. What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And, um, and I uh, kept falling. Um, and I ended up getting a cane. I was totally depressed. It was like, oh, my God, a cane. You know, I'm in my 50s. <sighs> and then, um, then it went, uh, I just, I couldn't keep going with the PhD. So the only one of my children or family members that had a flat, you know, no stairs was my daughter in Salt Lake City. So I moved there and um, I was able to get some um Medical treatment uh, wasn't even Medicaid. It was like for those that are so poor, they can't do anything. And, um, and that's when they started the investigations for MS. But I couldn't afford the tests, you know, that they had to absolutely say it. But they said, huh, your spine, like, what happened? <laughs> it's just a mess. It was just uh, osteopenia and... Um, the foraminal narrowing and the stenosis and the severe degenerative arthritis. Okay, and so let me, let me stop you for a sec. So we've got now more diagnoses than I would be able to write down. You mm -hmm. talked about MS, and I just want to clarify, um, were, you di were you ever diagnosed with MS? Uh, just November, just this past November. This past November. So you've got all these things. Um, and they did a full MRI, and it's just full from top to bottom, uh, herniated disc, bulging disc, the whole lot. Yeah. And, 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 okay, everything else. So how, how bad did it get? Like, how bad did your pain, your movement, your li – how limited were you? Okay. At the worst. Uh, just to give you free. an idea, um, uh, like, no social life, none. How about physically? I, well, physically? I, yeah, physically, I, well, because I couldn't go anywhere. And I was in a wheelchair. So you were in a wheelchair. It got so bad you were in a wheelchair. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I just couldn't 
walk. And it's the hip was the worst bit. Um, I have, uh, let me just show you. Yes, please. That, yeah, that's my wheelchair. That's real wheelchair, okay. Okay. Right, so that's so your wheelchair. wheelchair. This is, I don't know if you can see, there's a pull cord here. Yes. I'm living in sheltered accommodation. How bad does it get when a 60-year-old six, has to move into a place where the next step is a nursing home? That's the next step. So wasn't walking a full time in um, the wheelchair. This is a very small apartment, so I could just kind of fall into. <laughs> you, were, were you were you still full time in a wheelchair when you um, started Zero Pain Now? Uh, yes. Okay. I, um, so, yeah. Okay. So you were you were full time in the wheelchair when you started Zero Pain Now, and when did you start Zero Pain Now? How long ago? Um, I started it on uh, April thirteenth. Okay, so we, I, since, yeah. since we don't know, how how long ago is that? That's about that's about two and a half weeks ago. Yeah, it'll be yeah, it'll be three weeks on Wednesday. I had just been Wednesday. to a specialist in Letterkenny, which is near here, and was given the results of the MRI and of um, a gastroscopy because I had acid reflux like I said it's like having a golf ball of acid sitting here all the time and I'm trying to eat gluten free and all this crap and, oh, and just a whole lot. All right, so where I, I don't get to say it's over? No, okay, okay. sorry. Not yet. Not yet. All right. Because I, I'm trying, look, even as we go through this, I know a bit about your story, but I, it's, it's still, all right. So three weeks, less than three weeks ago, you're in a wheelchair full time. You got a ball of it. You got all this stuff going on. And now what's now? Now, well, let me just stand up. Okay. <laughs> can you see this? Yes, I can. Can you see this? Yes. I, I am touching my toes. I couldn't even do that when I talked to you last week. <laughs> wow. So, and I'm back dancing again. Yeah. And um, I'm walking like a mile and a half, two miles a day. I worked out in the garden, lifting up things full of soil and repotting stuff and everything yesterday. I, I can cook. I can, you know, because I couldn't stand to do it. And I love making stuff. I can do, when I started Zero Pain Now, I could only write for five minutes at a time because of all the, because I've had the rotator cuff and all that stuff too. So, and it was like, oh my God, and I can write. And I think one of my first emails to you guys was, I hope the first thing that gets fixed is my, is my arm. Because I was told in 2014, Oh, and I'm a writer. I'm a writer, a poet, and a novelist. And, and it's like, I can't write. I learned how to write with my left hand so I could do, so, you know. So let me bring you and back. And I'm doing all that. I'm doing all that. I, I colored my hair. Beautiful. You don't know. You might not think that's much, but I had I some. Do. When I first moved here in October, I had to have somebody do my laundry, make my bed. Um. I, I could my hair only grew because I couldn't, I couldn't cut it anymore. I couldn't hold up my arms to do that. And I can do that now. And I sat yesterday and wrote for two hours solid. So you're free. Yeah, I'm free. Yeah. So Jen, um, I, 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 look, I've helped, as I say, thousands of people. I, I, I don't even know what to say to you because, because, your story and you are so remarkable. So I, I guess the final question I really want to ask you, there's, there's somebody, what, we're recording this as you know, and, and there's somebody watching this right now. They've been through the medical thing. They've been beaten up over and over and they've been told this will work and they've been told this will work and nothing's worked and they go to this and they get a little temporary relief and the pain comes back and they feel hopeless and everything we're talking about here is absolutely unbelievable to them and they just, you, you know the feeling. So, so that person who's watching this video right now, 
what would you say? What's the, the one sentence that you would say to them? Do zero pain now for yourself. Do it right now. Just really. It is, uh, you get your life back. You're in charge. You know, this is, um, what have you got to lose but your pain? What have you got to lose but your pain? Go for it. OMG. Like you'd rather, in the time it takes you to sit and wait in a doctor's office for two hours to get results that are going to co- totally depress you yet again, you can, you can be pain-free or be on the road to it. And I, oh, yeah, I'm telling everybody I know. And um, it makes me sad when people think, well, she could do it, but I can't. And I'm not, I'm not special. I'm not. Just like everybody else. But you just have to make that decision and do it for yourself. And say, I'm worth it. It's a L'Oreal solution. I hope that, uh, that you and I can share a walk one of these days because I'm, I, I'm just, I'm amazed by you. And, and, and there's nothing that surprises me because I see this every day, but, but you had so much and so devastating and you were still willing to, to step up and do the program. And, and in less than three weeks from wheelchair to dancing is, um, you know, that's, yeah. that's everybody's dream that, that's in pain. That's so, right. I just want to thank you for, for letting me record you because somebody's watching this right now and listening to our voices that needed this, that needed to hear this to get their life back, to get their freedom back with zero pain now. So I want to thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, though, because if you hadn't done the program, I, I just, I knew there was something out there I could do, but I thought I, I, I couldn't do it by myself. And this is the tool. It's like, yeah, the magic tool. <laughs> we, found it, we found you and we do, and that's, we're a team. And get out there and have a life, everybody. <laughs> a pain-free one. That's, that's way more fun. <laughs> okay. Thank you again.